widespread rain, some heavy at times. Could see some localized flooding. Uh, not expecting that widespread flooding like that. Right. Uh, we are going to be dealing with more thunderstorms tomorrow and mm. Monday, which is why we have three first alerts in play today, tomorrow and Monday. Looking at thunderstorms to scattered thunderstorms and even an isolated thunderstorm possible as we move toward Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's take a look at radar right now and show you where the rain is. Not everybody dealing with it, and this will be the case throughout the day. Some of us dealing with heavy rainfall and thunderstorms, others dealing with cloud cover and dry conditions. So as far as lightning goes, head to haven't had a ton on the board this morning, but you can see those lightning strikes across the area right now kind of combined up toward Cabarrus County, but more activity continuing to build as you head down towards South Carolina. Making a few stops on radar, have one batch uh, out toward Morganton. That's going to be drifting off to the north and east, expecting that in Morganton in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. These are all drifting at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. More activity popping up, though, across the area. It's going to be like whack-a-mole today. We'll see these thunderstorms popping up, kind of fueling some other thunderstorms, and the scenario not going to change for much of the day today. Albemarle back down toward Mint Hill and Matthews, tracking some of those lightning strikes and some of the heavier rain coming down in these areas right now, all the way back down toward Monroe. There's Indian Trail, uh, back toward Weddington, and we'll follow this all the way across the border, back down toward Columbia. More thunderstorms popping up, one near Chester, drifting off to the north and east, a little bit of lightning associated with that and more to come as we look downstream. Looking at the arrival time for this batch in Mecklenburg County at about 9.30 to 10 o'clock, give or take a few minutes, but expect some rainfall, some of it heavy at times, and model data doing a pretty good job tracking that batch heading our way 10, 11 o'clock here in the metro. By noon, that's moving off to the north, Morganton, Statesville, Lenore, all of those areas dealing with some of that thunderstorm activity that we're going to see developing in South Carolina at this point, and then more activity 4, 5, 6 o'clock and lingering through the evening. Overnight, could see a pretty widespread batch of rain and thunderstorm activity passing through the area. Here's 5 o'clock Sunday morning, drifting off to the east throughout the day. By the afternoon, maybe a few peaks of sunshine, but that could fuel some thunderstorms as well. So scattered thunderstorms for Sunday after today. Umbrella, need it all weekend long. Keep it handy. Those temperatures are going to be cooler than we were the last couple of days, only in the mid to upper 70s and mid 60s across the high country. So moral of the story, expect thunderstorms at some point today, tomorrow, and into Monday. Temperatures warming back up into the 80s because those thunderstorms are not going to be quite as numerous as we move towards Sunday and Monday. But those temperatures continue to climb up to about 90 degrees on Wednesday. Now you're up to date with the latest First Alert forecast.